Better have my money ready. It's a crazy world, and I need that money ready. Welcome back to Houston Life. You know, this weekend, you can be a part of a conference where real estate experts will share tips on sharing Houston's real estate future. Yeah, whether you are a developer, investor, or just getting started in real estate, Stephen Akintayo, the founder and convener of Diaspora Real Estate Wealth Conference, is here with more details on how to attend the event. Welcome, Stephen, to the show. Good to be here. It's great to meet you. I want to let our viewers know uh, just a little bit about your resume. So you are a Forbes-recognized investment coach, serial entrepreneur, entrepreneur, host, author, the list goes on and on. Yeah. You're busy. And we were chatting during the break about this conference. I think it's a really cool concept. Anyone can attend, yeah. but specifically for immigrants who are living here and maybe have not dabbled in real estate, yeah. this conference is really to let them know, hey, you can do this and we're going to teach you how. Absolutely. I mean, if you look at some of the data, um, you know, people of color uh, haven't invested much in real estate. Some data tells you just 8% or less than 8% wow. of black people own their own property. And so I think there is that fear of do I invest? And sometimes people have done it and, and they, they, they probably went bad. Also, people also don't understand the investment aspect of that because sometimes you just want to have a home. Meanwhile, real estate is actually a vehicle for investment where you can own properties and people, of course, pay you rental income. And once you can do it such that the rental income is higher than the mortgage, now you have a passive a source of passive income. And that's really how you build wealth. Wow. Okay, so you're teaching people how to build wealth. What if they don't have a background in real estate? Do you need to have a first, do you need to have a little bit of real estate knowledge to no, do not, this? Not or? at all. And I, I think that's the, the the essence of the event that even people who don't have the background can now learn and connect with experts um, who have done it. Uh, Maria is one of our speakers. Maria got to know about real estate when she was 16 and she became a multi-millionaire at 21. Wow. You know, so she'll be sharing a story about fix and flip. How do you do fix and flip when it comes to real estate? Like that, we have different speakers who uh, themselves were immigrants when they moved to the U.S. And today, they're multimillionaires through the real estate sector. So how do you do that as well? I know there's a, a long panel of, of speakers. Yeah. And when you talk about passive income, yeah. and immigrants coming to this country oftentimes are looking for a better life, mm -hmm. right? And one of the ways you can make a better life is by creating stability financially. Right, exactly. not right. just for your, yeah. for yourself, but mm -hmm. for your family and future generations. Very real true. estate is one of the best ways Absolutely. to do that. Absolutely, I mean that's why it's called real. It's the only estate that is real. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> so, and and I tell people there are four ways. I mean, most asset class either help you to make money, or help you to multiply money, or help you to save money. Real estate does four. It helps you to make money, help you to manage money, help you to save money, and help you to transfer that money to the next generation. So a lot of asset classes can't do that. The crypto won't do four level of that. Even buying equities, which is good, but some of them can't do those four things for you. Right. Uh, real estate is the only asset class that can help you achieve all that. Right. And back to the keynote speaker is that we were showing a list of the who's going to be on the panel speaking. And I think just being around people who have achieved something and, yeah. and you know, they're a wealth of knowledge. You exactly. want to listen to their advice. Yeah. What if you can't attend in person? Is there an opportunity for maybe a, a virtual attendance? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we, funny enough, we're even having people attend from other countries. Oh, wow. You know, because there are a lot of people who still want to invest in the U.S., even though they don't live here. Right. Um, you know, particularly for some of them who are from Africa, our currency seems to be very weak. So sometimes you want to keep your money, you know, your asset in, in dollar. Uh, so it's, it's virtual as well as it's physical. And so it's just a wonderful experience they're going to have. So virtual, it's a hybrid, as you mentioned, yeah. the Western Houston at Memorial City to yeah. attend in person. This is mm -hmm. coming Saturday, January 6th at 11 a.m. Yeah. People might be wondering, what's the cost of this? <laughs> So, yes, I think the cost is quite reasonable, um, you know, because it's, it's less than $200, you know, to attend it virtually and to attend in person as well. I think it's just around that, that range as well. I think there was a discount given so they could go to the site and see they take advantage of the discount coupons. And the idea here is really you're investing in yourself to invest it's, in your future. You are teaching people essentially how to fish exactly. to create a better life. Absolutely. And, and I think that the, I always share that the first journey when it comes to building wealth is to start with the knowledge of wealth creation. 
And sometimes we're so eager to want to, okay, can I buy a house? Can I invest in this? No, get invest in the knowledge before the investment itself. Um, you know, for me, uh, I started my business with $10 back in Africa. Wow. Yeah. So, and, and one of the books that helped me was Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Uh, Richest Man in Babylon, about savings. Uh, these are powerful books. Uh, and the authors were American. I was in Nigeria. Wow. And I was reading these books, and they were changing my life. And before you knew it, I grew our business, you know, to different countries. We're in Nigeria, we're in Dubai, we're in UK, and we're here in the US as well. We just acquired 40 acre. We're about building over 400 unit housing here as well. Uh, so uh, for me, it's, it's sharing that knowledge as to how I started from nothing and how anybody else can do the same as well. And now you're on the cover of a book here. You want to tell us a little bit about your book, Billionaire yeah. Habits and then yeah. Billionaire Goods? I mean, you want to give, we, we, of course, you want people to buy it, but anything yeah. you can uh, share with us because it is a new year and people mm -hmm. do have financial goals. Uh, absolutely. So what, what, uh, so Billionaire Habits shares about habits of wealthy people. And oftentimes they don't put in, you know, it's just not out there. And for me, I've worked with a lot of billionaires and myself, I grew from nothing uh, to grow my, my portfolio of real estate assets as well. And one of the things that I, I think is important is connecting with people with win-win relationship. I think some of our relationships are quite toxic mm -hmm. and they, it's not mutually beneficial. Um, once uh, I've noticed a lot of wealthy friends I meet, the conversation is what are we exchanging, right? Are you doing business with me or am I doing business? There, there's a purpose for those relationships. There's value. And so we should target getting those relationships this year that is going to add value to you. It has yes. to be mutually beneficial. Amen. <laughs> add value. Uh, Stephen yeah. Akintanyo, thank you so much for thank stopping by. For this is all happening again, 11 a.m. this Saturday, January 6th at the Weston Houston Memorial City. And uh, registration for this weekend's conference series is still open to the general public in person and virtually. Yes, and if you want to learn more about Diaspora Real Estate Wealth Conference 2024, visit stephenacintayo.com forward slash diaspora rec, uh, dash rec, right? Yeah, you diaspora can... dash rec. Yeah, cool. There you go. Thank Thanks you so again. much.